Hello everybody and welcome to Hunter Call of the Wild Part 6. I'm gonna probably start ramping up on the story here and I will probably come out with an episode of me just grinding to get money because I'll need that to continue the story. Uh, but yeah, keep an eye out for my streams. I did stream on Thursday. Unfortunately, I didn't save it, so uh, that's a shame. But uh, keep up for streams and I may start streaming here shortly. But enjoy! One point five kilograms is a perfect amount of deer roast, serving about eight months in large deer roast over two kilograms. There'll be overly chewy bits, while small venison steaks around one kilogram translate to smaller cuts, which are more difficult difficult to cook carefully and result in more wastage of meat. Now we get to know about cooking too. So I chose this because I like the level 3 where you get the approximate weight which can help you to determine which one's a diamond and which one's not. Uh, and so to get to level 3 you need level 2. But it also is good because it tells you what the health is at when investigating blood trails so you know if you make a good shot or how fast the animal will drop. And so it's an overall good skill. You got one? Great! Don't forget to harvest it. Then, on to another. There you go, another one. I'll let Zomer know. This should calm his nerves. Well, it seems someone is making new friends. I just had a chat with Robert Zomer, and he was very pleased with how you took care of the fallow deer in his cornfields. You know, Zomer is a real enthusiast of special equipment hunting. Bow hunting is one of his passions. As a thank you for your work, he wants to invite you to partake in his favorite pastime, He's challenging you to hunt a red fox using a bow. I think it's some kind of rite of passage.
there. Yerlinda sends her regards for your help with the fallow deer. She was wondering if you could help out with another photo for her book. It seems you did a great job with the last one. This time, she wants a picture of a fallow deer with Genigsberg Lake in the background. I'd recommend southeastern Pietishain for it. The vistas are great, and you often see fallow deer around there. This is the area I was talking about. You'll be able to get a great shot of Genigsberg Lake here. It's hard to miss, since it's one of the largest lakes in Central Europe, and the second deepest. Gerlinda wants a fairly detailed shot, so make sure you're not too far away. Great photo. That'll do it for sure. Do you know who Dr. Bandari is? He's heard of you, at least. From Gerlinda, I wager. Bandari is a biologist and works for the European Bison Advisory Organization. They've been working on introducing the bison to Central Europe, with much success. The population has thrived, but progress has been hampered recently by a disease of some sort. Bandari was wondering if you could help him get a blood sample from a diseased bison in Tichenau. The organization would compensate you for your efforts, of course. Fields of Schoschenfeld were the grounds for one of more of the more violent battles during the German Peasants' War in 1525. steady hands just to decrease the wobble when I'm aiming the weapon just so it's easier to aim the weapon and it doesn't shake as much so I can get a cleaner shot. Schoenfeld is not only known for its good hunting grounds, there are some old bunkers here from the Great War. We often get youngsters out here exploring them, so keep an extra eye out when you're hunting around there, okay?
Hidden amongst the trees lies this bunker used by the Germans during World War I. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and keep a lookout for the next one. Should could be coming out in a couple of days. Uh, and let me know if you like what I'm doing and if there's anything else I could do to improve. Uh, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, also keep a lookout for my streams. I should be doing those more frequently. Hopefully. Uh, depending on work and all that. Uh, and feel free to like and subscribe my videos. Uh, subscribe to the channel and like my videos. Because uh, it will help me grow. Uh, but it's all up to you. I'm not doing this for the subscriptions and the views and all that. I'm kind of doing it for myself. And just because I'm... You know, I'm playing these games and figured I might as well show someone what I'm doing. So, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye!